Hi everyone, this is your girl Tiffany, your host, owner, and creator of The Mix. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Thank you to all my subscribers. Let's continue to share and like my videos, uh, everything on my channel. Go over to my community section. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Share, share, share. Like, like, like. Those who are digitally passing through, why don't you guys just click the subscribe button? <laughs> click the subscribe button. Hey, really quickly, I just wanted to touch on um, an issue. It's been going on for quite some time now <laughs> in terms of um, customer service. Yeah, customer service. I'm here to talk about customer service nowadays. Okay. I had encountered an experience with the dentist's office. I'm not going to expose the office, none of that. I don't do that here on this channel. Um, however, Mind you, when some of you, if you have insurance, whatever, you go to the dentist's office and your insurance, uh, of course, pays for, you know, the services being provided. So nevertheless, I had an appointment scheduled and I wanted to, it actually initially when I scheduled it, we were, we were kind of going back and forth, the uh, receptionist and I or whomever does the dental scheduling. Nevertheless, so we were going back and forth on dates or whatever. So the office basically stated that, um, the person basically stated that, hey, well, we can get you in at four o'clock. And I was like, you know what? I don't know what I was doing. I, I went ahead and committed to the four o'clock appointment. But in my mind, I'm like, okay, well, I do have other commitments, things to do, this and that, blah, blah, blah. Let me probably try to see if I can change it at a later date. Uh, I have a nine to five as well. So nevertheless, um, probably a couple of weeks before the appointment, I called to reschedule for either a Saturday or a later time. I was told that they didn't have any available. I said, okay, so when do you have a later appointment available or maybe a Saturday appointment available instead of coming in at four o'clock? I was then told <laughs> that, um, what did she say? She basically stated that they they are no longer open on Saturdays over the weekend and they are open from 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. So Monday through Friday. So I'm just like, okay, well, I've never experienced that here. And this is an office that I frequent, uh, have been frequenting this office for quite some time now. So some years, I'm going to say, probably about four or five years, longer than that. And um, so I'm like to myself, okay, when did this change? And I actually didn't have time to go back and forth because I had other things I needed to do. So I didn't have time to really like pose some questions. Okay, when did this change? This and that. And so um, I basically was like, I canceled my appointment. I canceled my appointment. And so she was kind of taken aback and was like, well, uh, I, I basically told her, cut her off, like, hey, um, I'll have to get back to you guys, check my scheduling, see if I can move some things around or whatever, blah, blah, blah. However, in my mind, I'm like, you know what? I don't have time for this today. I'll just see if I could possibly find another office that can accommodate me in time wise. Because I feel, the point I'm getting at, I feel that, okay, I'm coming to you for service and you need me as a customer, you know, um, as far as dental hygienist, as far as if I choose to get ortho work, things of that nature, you're, I'm paying for ins dental insurance, you're billing it so you can get paid and whatever my dentist doesn't cover out, out of pocket, I cover. So you guys, you really need me. You need me. So when has the roles changed? I, I've been noticing this over the past few years now. Um, things have changed in the customer service industry with these different corporations. So I want to know if you guys have experienced that as well. It can be what in whatever sector. Um, you know, what has been the worst customer service for you? With whatever you've um, probably possibly dealt with in your life over the past few years. In my opinion, customer service have has been on a decline, like drastically. Uh, even when you call certain companies to try to get someone online, live, even if you make purchases online, it's hard to get someone. It's hard to uh, get the your, whatever issue you're experience, experiencing. It's hard to get that resolved. Uh, it's like everything is so computer based, um, in in terms of customer service as well. Also, when you're in person, it's like, okay, well, what, what do you like? <laughs> Even if you're in person, it's 
like you're not being accommodated. And it's like, okay, has the industry or has corporations forgotten that we are the consumers, you know, um, and I'm sure they're consumers in some aspect in their lives as well. I mean, that's just a given. We all need service in some way, shape or form, some type of service. So it's like, has, has, has that been forgotten? I mean, I'm just confused, confused. So what I want from you guys is to share in the comment section your customer service experience over the past few years. Do you believe um, customer service has been on a drastic decline? Um, your concerns or grievances have not been addressed properly or accordingly, or you haven't been accommodated, and you are the person uh, you are the customer. You're paying for you. You know you're you're providing a service, not a service, but you're you're providing business to say a companies or two companies to the companies to the organization. It could be in the restaurant industry. It could be technology, your cellular service, dental, medical. It's just certain things. It just seems like everything has changed <laughs> drastically in terms of customer service overall. So I, I don't know if it's just me. Am I tripping or am I reaching? Have you guys experienced that? And if so, just share your experience in the comment section. Please do not call out any uh, companies by name. I, again, my channel is not um, for that. <laughs> so I, I'm not that type of um, person. I'm not trying to call anyone out, you know, but you can respectfully um, express yourselves, or you can say, hey, in this industry, this is what I experienced. In this industry, this is what I experienced, you know. So if you have gri grievances or gripes or whatever, go to their page or go to Yelp, and then you express yourself about that particular company or organization or um, business that you've been dealing with, whether it's uh, on a macro level or micro level, meaning whether it's large or small, it could be a small business. It can be a large organization or business. Like I said, it could be the restaurant industry, dental, medical service. Um, it could be something, an Instagram or online store you've conducted business with, and maybe your product didn't, you didn't receive it on time, or maybe the, your, your transaction, there were some issues with your transaction and you wanted to dispute it. And, you know, so things have definitely changed. I'm going to also bring to you guys, um, I'm going to further this topic, but on, in a different area. So stay tuned for more <laughs> content relating to things like this. And like I said, um, this is the mix. I'm providing a mixture of topics for discussion. These are my reactions, my views, my opinions, my perspective, whether it be subjective or objective, that's all it is. Um, and thank you all for tuning into my channel. Let's get the discussion going. Like, share, subscribe to The Mix. I am your host, Tiffany, owner and creator of this channel. Please tune in and also please go ahead and comment on this um, topic. I'm interested to interested to know how you guys um, feel or 